For Russia, repelling the Ukrainian armed forces' invasion of the Kursk region is of lesser importance than the advancement of its troops in the Donbass. As the New York Times reports, despite its overwhelming firepower, Russia has been unable to push Ukrainian forces back across its border for weeks, a failure that is the result of both a lack of manpower and a lack of priorities. Russia's barrage of airstrikes with hundreds of drones and missiles against Ukraine over the past two days has provided compelling evidence of Moscow's long-standing military might. But Russia is still trying to reclaim a small sliver of territory in the Kursk region that Ukraine seized earlier this month. The reason Russia has so far failed to repel the biggest foreign invasion of its country since World War II is not just a matter of personnel and a lack of battlefield intelligence, but also of priorities, Western officials and military experts say. Caught off guard by the Kursk offensive, Russia is still more determined to seize Pokrovsk in the Donbass. Its commanders have been reluctant to withdraw troops from the front. The goal of the Russian summer offensive is to at least take Pokrovsk, said Colonel Markus Riesner, who oversees force development at Austria's top military academy. Three weeks after the Kursk invasion, officials say Russia's slow but steady gains near Pokrovsk have even increased. As Russian forces continue to advance toward Pokrovsk, any diminution in Russian momentum caused by any redeployment is not noticeable, Reasoner said. Despite this, Moscow has begun to respond in Kursk, recently moving thousands of its troops and threatening to retaliate. The Ukrainian invasion has had a shocking effect on the Russians. It won't last forever. They will come together and respond accordingly, said Christopher G. Cavoli, a U.S. Army general and NATO's top commander. Officials and experts say Russian troops in Kursk lacked the numbers or experience to mount a swift defense when Ukrainian forces crossed the border. Those who fought did not have sufficient weapons or other equipment to counter the Ukrainians. Intelligence provided by Western allies has given Ukraine a clear picture of Russian troop dispositions in the region, helping them to decide what they can seize without much resistance, said former Russian and Soviet diplomat Nikolai Sokov. The FSB should now be leading the response to this invasion, not the Russian general staff, which is responsible for eastern Ukraine. Without a clear commander, Russian forces remain in the background, allowing the Ukrainians to expand their foothold, said Ralph F. Goff, a former senior CIA official. Ukrainian troops now control about 100 settlements in the Kursk region and have captured nearly 600 Russian soldiers, Ukrainian Commander-in-Chief General Alexander Sirsky said on Tuesday. The figures could not be independently verified, but Russia now appears to be planning a long-term confrontation on the border with Ukraine. Moscow's response has been somewhat slow, but nonetheless methodical and thorough. Russia has deployed attack helicopters to Kursk and recently stepped up artillery strikes against Ukrainian troops, Sokov said. Telegram founder and CEO Pavel Durov was released from police custody in France on Wednesday, four days after his arrest in Paris airport. Durov, 39, has been transferred to court for questioning before a possible indictment. The Paris prosecutor's office said he would now face initial questioning and possible indictment at a court in the French capital. An investigating judge has ended Pavel Durov's police custody and will have him brought to court for a first appearance and a possible indictment, a statement from the Paris prosecutor's office said. He was detained at Bourget Airport near Paris on Saturday while returning from a trip in Azerbaijan's capital Baku over allegations that the messaging app is being used for illegal activities. He faced charges related to a number of crimes, including allegations that Telegram app was complicit in aiding fraudsters, drug traffickers, 